watch the video till the end to do the smile exercise with us hello everyone welcome back happy mondays so we all love to be liked by people we all love that people should be enchanted by our personalities by our first impressions and by the charisma of ours don't you yes indeed but then we should have some basic principles or guiding rules mm-hmm, no rules actually but then the principles are perfect why do we call them principles why not rule should be the first question principles are something you can mold around and tailor according to the situation to the person and to the circumstance but rules and regulations or laws what you call them are something you need to follow and adhere to but then the first basic principle which we are going to talk about is be interested in someone so until unless you are interested in someone why do you expect that somebody shall be interested in you easy so now you need to take an extra effort maybe you might not be interested in the conversation which the person is having with you but you need to take an extra effort you need to be curious you need to be more inquisitive you need to ask him questions maybe you might find a specific topic or a thing you might be interested in go try it the second principle which is the most underrated principle is the smile Ah, that is so enchanting. The smile, the smile is so contagious. It is one of the best things you could do. Smile. Mm, let me explain you with an example actually. So take an example of a small child. When you go outdoors and you see a small kid running up to you and just he looks to you and smiles. What does he do? Do you frown back? Mm? No. He smiles. and that's where it gets spread like virus just not corona virus but then it just spreads and it's just enchanting and you smile back so that baby or that kid looking at you and smiling what you do you smile back so smiling is an amazing principle the third principle is remember people's name remembering people name could be a very interesting thing but then we sometimes do tend to forget i always tend to forget names of people but then how do you come up with this you could always say if you're meeting somebody for the second time you could always tell them oh my bad i'm sorry i'm just bad with names could i request you what's your name again So see this is easy you could come out of this situation like this but then if you're meeting for the person for the third time please make sure you remember his name then it's going to be a issue <laughs> okay talking about the four guiding principle is be a genuinely good listener by being a good listener this is also something we promote at the young leaders boot camp at tbh circle we all wish to be good speakers that's good but then you would always see one of the similarities between good speakers that they are good listeners as well and listening is an art listening is an form let me give you a principle or let me they say it as now a rule rather follow this and you would be very good at this listening is an art so follow this 40 seconds rule so 40 second means you cannot speak more than 40 seconds because once you start speaking more than 40 seconds it becomes more of a one way conversation and you want to have a conversation not a speech if you are just speaking then i would rather call it a speech than a conversation so speak what do you think hmm speak just till 40 seconds and give others an opportunity to speak listen to them ask them more questions oh what do you do where do you come from hello how are you where do you eat what do you like ask them more questions be inquisitive as i said the fifth principle says which is a very interesting one and a very important one talk in terms of other people observe what other people are interested in and listen to them very carefully so that's what i said be a little more inquisitive how can you understand what other people are interested in then your observation power comes in picture there's a very famous quotation which says humans are not impaired by its tools 
but they are impaired by their vision. You know, we do not observe around us. There's so many things we can come to know by just observations. So observe what people like, what people dislike. Observe what people wish and what people are interested in talking to you about. And especially if they are interested in something, talk to them about that. Maybe you might learn something and figure out how can you also be interested in that particular topic. Last but not not the least the sixth principle is the most important one and which we all long for we as humans we all long for the feeling of importance don't we what do you somebody making you feel important that you mean the world to them is so amazing don't you think so whether you do it with your family friends your boss anyone it is just an amazing feeling i cannot express it but then you need to make the other people that they mean the world to you and it would be amazing so thank you for watching the video follow these six basic principles and let us know in the comments below which one did you like or have you followed or if you follow it now go and use it apply it and let us know did it help you and how did it help you below the comments yeah thank you and take care ciao ciao bye so bonus time <laughs> this is the best thing now we are going to do is the smile exercise so what i want you to do is frown yes make a sad face mm -hmm. now i want you to roll up and now frown can you <laughs> i could not actually but that's what looking up always makes you do you cannot feel sad about it so make sure you're always looking up whenever you are sad and try and be sad then i'm sure you will have a blast take care thank you bye